Holy crap. So when removing the frame side bolt, you'll use a 21 millimeter on the front and a 22 millimeter on the back. You can use a large crescent wrench or a boxed end uh, wrench, either from underneath or leaning from up over the tire uh, to hold the nut on the other side. Here's the stock bolt in the frame side, much looser than the 9 16th bolt. Here's the st stock bolt in the TerraFlex sleeve, much looser than the 9 16th bolt and you can even see inside where the threads from the stock bolt ended up wearing into the bolt sleeve on the TerraFlex track bar. The 9 16th bolt fits, fits nice and snug in the stock bracket much better than the 14 millimeter stock bolt and the 9 16th bolt also fits very well uh, in the bushing sleeve for the TerraFlex Munster heavy duty track bar actually much better I'm shaking it here to show any play which there's very little much better than the stock bolt the stock bolt uh, and nut configuration has a flag on the nut so that it's easier to torque uh, and install the axle side bolt. Um, if you remove the steering stabilizer from the stock location for this kind of install then you can reach up inside with a boxed end wrench uh, in order to hold the nut on the other side and torque it to spec without having to weld on a flag on the nut like the stock configuration. I'm running a Woods steering stabilizer relocation bracket with a Rubicon Express steering stabilizer. The stock location holds the stock steering stabilizer uh, too low so it's exposed to rocks and other obstacles and tends to get dented in. I find it easier to loosely install the axle side bolt first and then install the axle side bolt. What you need to do to have things lined up is you need a helper to turn the steering either to the driver or passenger so that you can line up the holes on the axle side and insert the bolt into the track bar bracket and uh, bushing sleeve. I decided to go ahead and use a lock washer with the nut on the back side on both sides just to make sure that as the suspension cycles that the bolts don't untorque themselves. And if you accidentally push the nut in too far you need to use one of these telescoping magnetic uh, pen kind of extractor things so you can reach in there and pull the nut out and put it in the right place. You might even use this to position the nut if you find it hard to get your fingers into the back side. So sliding the open end of the 21 mil 22 millimeter wrench on the back side of the track bar bracket axle side I was able to hold the nut so I could torque this side to the 125 foot-pounds to spec and on this side we were able to fit the torque wrench on the back side which is preferable to torque on the nut side instead of the bolt side if possible it's not required but uh, it's helpful it's a better torque spec so we've got 9 16 bolts on both sides and they'll fit in the bolt sleeves, uh, bushing sleeves in the track bar as well as in the track bar brackets uh, much more snugly.